So hello and welcome everyone to the daily news analysis of today that is 27th of August 2023 So let's start with all the articles of today's articles The first article is The moon landing spot is now ship safety Prime Minister has announced that the ship safety point will be the ship safety point Next is Catering to diet of elephant to prevent conflict with human in Assam ये पेज नंबर सिक्स में मिलेगा स्टडी ऑन लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ डिफरेंट ब्लू फ्लाइज हेल्प्स टू एस्टिमेट पोस्ट मॉडर्न पोस्ट मॉडर्न इंटरवल सर पेज नंबर सिक्स में आठ के लिए ये एशियन डेवलपमेंट बैंक सेंटर टू ओपन क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड हेल्थ सेंटर इन दिल्ली पेज नंबर सेवेन का आठ के लिए व्हाट इज द राइट टाइगर्स ईट ए नौ नंबर वाला पेज का है ये टाइजिबल हेरिटेज इज द हिस्ट्री एंड आइडेंटिटी ऑफ ए नेशन सेज मोदी ठीक है द नेक्स्ट जो है नासा एंड स्पेस एक्स क्रू ऑफ फोर ब्लास्ट ऑफ टू आई एस एस इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन ट्रॉपिकल फॉरेस्ट में भी गेटिंग टू हॉट फॉर फोटो सिंथेसिस नेक्स्ट जो है फाइव वाज ए फोर्टी परसेंट ड्यूटी इम्पोज ऑन ओनियन एक्सपोर्ट्स यूनियन एक्सपोर्ट के लिए 40 परसेंट ड्यूटी इम्पोज कर दिया गया है क्योंकि इंडिया में हटे चल रहा है आफ्टर चंद्रयान थ्री हटर इसरो प्लान आदित्य एल वन आदित्य एल वन टॉन की तरफ ले जाया जाएगा वो एक स्पेसिप को वट इज द केयर प्रोटोकॉल फॉर बेबीज इन इंडिया देन मिशन मिशन पॉसिबल देन प्रधानमंत्री जनधन योजना अकाउंट से सरप्राइज फिफ्टी करोर डिपोजिट टॉच डिपोजिट टॉच टू लाख करोर रुपीज सैद जोशी ये पेज नंबर फोर्टीन का आर्टिकल है तो चलिए देखते हैं वन बाई वन सभी आर्टिकल्स को तो पहला जो आर्टिकल है मून स्पॉट मून लैंडिंग स्पॉट इज नाउ शिव शक्ति The point where Chandra and two left its footprint will be called Tiranga, says Narendra Modi. He announces August 23 as National Space Day. Three announcements किया गया है. पहला जो है वो Chandra and three जहाँ पे land किया गया है उसे शिव शक्ति point बोला जाएगा. फिर Chandra and two जहाँ पे यहाँ इसका footprint छोड़के गया था उसका नाम Tiranga होगा. और third जो है ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ अगस्त को नेशनल स्पेस डे मनाया जाएगा तो प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन सैटरडे अनाउंस द पॉइंट फेयर द विक्रम लैंडर ऑफ चंद्रयान थ्री लैंडेड विल बी कॉल्ड शिव शक्ति एंड द पॉइंट फेयर चंद्रयान टू लेफ्ट इट्स फुटप्रिंट ऑन द लूनर सर्फेस विल बी कॉल्ड तिरंगा इन शिव शक्ति इन शिव देर इज ए रेजोल्यूशन फॉर वेलफेयर एंड ह्यूमैनिटी एंड शक्ति गिव्स अस स्ट्रेंथ टू फुलफिल दो रेजोल्यूशन दिस शिव शक्ति पॉइंट ऑफ द मून ऑल्सो गिव्स ए सेंस ऑफ कनेक्शन विथ हिमालय टू कन्याकुमारी मिस्टर मोदी सेड एड्रेसिंग साइंटिस्ट एट द इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इसरो टेलीमेटेड ट्रैकिंग एंड कमांड नेटवर्क आई स्ट्रैक इन बेंगालुरु आफ्टर ही रिटर्न फ्रॉम ग्रीस ही एडेड दैट द तिरंगा पॉइंट विल रिमाइंड अस दैट फेल्युअर इज नॉट द एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑल्सो अनाउंस दैट अगस्ट ट्वेंटी थ्री The name, the day, the lander made its historic soft landing will be common commemorated as National Space Day. National Space Day will be, will celebrate the spirit of science, technology, and innovation, and inspire us for an eternity. Mr. Modi said. Meanwhile, ISRO Chairman S. Somnath on Saturday said that the Pragya rover has travelled about 12 meters and is expected to take pictures of Vikram lander. Now, the rover has already moved 12 meters and it is almost out of the field of view. It will turn in the day today and look at the lander and take more pictures, Mr. Somnath said, while briefing the Prime Minister on findings. And pro and progress of the mission. The ISRO also released two new videos of a Pragya rover around the ship's safety point in 
pursuit of lunar secrets at the moon's south pole the isro said that the uh, two of the chandrayaan 3 missions three objectives had been completed including demonstrating demonstration of a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface and demonstration of the rover roving on the moon the third which is conducting in situ scientific experiment is under way world record a world recognition the prime minister added that following the success of chandrayaan 3 mission the world recognized india scientific spirit technology and temperaments we have our national national pride placed on the moon placed on the moon this is today's india that is fearless and relentless this is an india that thinks new and in a novel way the one that goes to the dark zone and spreads lights in the world this is this india will provide solutions to the big problems of the world in 21st century mr modi said he urged the younger generation of the country to come forward to scientifically prove the astronomical formulas in the in the scriptures of india to study the study them in new it is important for our heritage and also important for science in a way this is a double responsibility for the student of schools college and universities today the treasure of scientific knowledge that india has has been buried hidden during in the long period of slavery in this azadi ka amrit kal we have to explore this treasure treasure to do research on it and also tell the world about it mr modi said he said india has become the fifth largest economy in the world and is now among the first world countries in the journey from third row to first row institutions like our isro have played a huge role he said तो सेकंड का जो आर्टिकल है कैटरिंग डाइट ऑफ एलिफेंट्स टू प्रिवेंट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विथ ह्यूमन इन आसाम आमला एंड बेल आर एमंग सेवरल नेटिव स्पेसिस ऑफ ट्रीज दैट आर बीइंग प्लांटेड इन आसाम इन ए बीड टू सिक्योर ए मेजर एलिफेंट हैबिटेट एंड मिटिगेट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट बिटवीन ह्यूमन एंड तस्कर्स एमंग द 25000 saplings of native species of species of trees planted between june and august to improve the 100 acre 100 hectare elephant habitat are some 2000 sprouts of alpa alpinial alpinia alugus alpinia alugus a ginger like rhizome rise, uh, locally called tura it is an important source of fodder for elephant in the region the habitat is in the rota reserve forest under the dhansiri forest division in the udalguri district of assam bordering bhutan other species of trees planted include include um, gamhari <coughs> जामुन घुमुरा अर्जुन एंड खेर एलिफेंट डाइट द सिलेक्शन वाज डन आफ्टर ए स्टडी ऑफ नेटिव फॉरेस्ट कवर एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दिस प्लांट्स आर इंपोर्टेंट फॉर द एलिफेंट्स डाइट अकॉर्डिंग टू ए स्पोक्स पर्सन फॉर आरन एंड an assam based biodiversity conservation organization restoring degraded areas with three species preferred by elephants would help secure its habitat and facilitate elephant movement for long term mitigation of human elephant con- confrontations bibhuti prasad lahakar the organization senior con- conservation scientist said the area chosen for uh, replenish replenishment of the green cover in the rotwa area is a mosaic of grassland and woodlands with different soil substrata ranging from sandy cores to rocky and swampy 
फर्स्ट ऑफ लैंड तो नेक्स्ट जो है स्टडी ऑन लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ डिफरेंट ब्लू फ्लाइज हेल्प्स टू एस्टिमेट द पोस्टमार्टम इंटरवल्स द फ्लाइज बिलोंगिंग टू द The flies belonging to the Califuride uh, Califuride family in the order Diptera Diptera are the first visitors to inhabit inhabit and colonize a dead body, commonly known as blue flies. These flies have significant importance in the accurate assessment of postmortem interval, the time that has elapsed since one's death. However, studies reveal significant differences in the developmental rate of these flies according to seasonal changes. These changes, these changes may be due to changes in the humidity, rainfall, temperature in the area, and genetic variation of blue flies. A study conducted by Reject, uh, Reject Paul M. P. Assistant Professor, M. S. C. Forensic Science Program, Kerala Police Academy. Has recorded has recorded 17 blue fly species belonging to four subfamilies and eight genera from Central Kerala. The study covers four forensically significant blue flies: <coughs> Chrysomia, Chrysomia megacephala, Chrysomia rufifacia. Hasis, Chrysomia chani and Hemiphyrelia ligu rains that have been identified based on their morphological and molecular characteristics. <coughs> Effect of the temperature and humidity of on the life cycle of blue flies was investigated, and it showed that the pre-oviposition Period was significantly higher in winter in all the four species. Length and width of length and length and width in larval instars were significantly higher in monsoon for C. megacephala and C. rufi facies. The regression equation method developed in this study emerged as the best suitable method for the estimation of PMI using life history of blue flies. The next is Asian Development Bank Center Bank Center to open climate change and health center in Delhi. Asian Development Bank open करने जा रहा है. Having backed the first WHO center for global traditional medicine to be set up in Gujarat, India is now all set to open a climate change and health hub in New Delhi in partnership with the Asian Development Bank. The World Health Organization outpost in Jamnagar will aim to provide leadership on global health matters pertaining to traditional medicine, ensure the quality, safety, efficacy, accessibility, and rational use of traditional medicine, develop norms, standards, and guidelines in relevant techni technical areas, and develop tools and methodologies for data collection and analytics. Need to pool resources. Climate change affects all of us, and this center. Will give us the opportunity to have different partners discussing these important issues and learning from each other. A senior health ministry official said, "The world is facing new challenges, and we must pool in our resources, learning, and innovations to tackle the fallout of this change in a timely manner." In its recently released G20 outcome document, India also noted that climate change will continue to drive health emergencies, including the emergency and re-emergence of infectious diseases, and by increasing the severity and frequency of natural natural disasters, thereby threatening to overwhelm health systems' ability to deliver essential services. As such, we recognize the need to enhance the re resilience of health system against the impact of climate change. We commit to 
prioritizing climate resilient health system development building sustainable and low carbon low greenhouse gas emission health system and healthcare supply chains that deliver high quality healthcare mobilize resources for a resilient low carbon sustainable health system and facilitate collaboration including initiatives such as the who led alliance for transformative action on climate change and change and health the document noted नेक्स्ट जो आर्टिकल है वो है फट तराई टाइगर्स ईट एंड फट इट टेल्स अबाउट द हैबिटेट फट तराई टाइगर ईट्स एंड फट इट टेल्स अबाउट द हैबिटेट द डोंग ऑफ टाइगर्स हैज हेल्प्ड अ टीम ऑफ साइंटिस्ट एट द वाइल्ड लाइफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया अंडरस्टैंड द प्रेस सिलेक्शन पैटर्न्स ऑफ द स्ट्रीम strip dip uh, feli line feli line in the indian part of the torai arc landscape or tor uh, or tal the the faces also helped uh, the scientists to gather information about the hot spots of conflict related to lives lives it uh, talk predation across 15000 square kilometer of the animals habitat along the food hills of himalayas the assessment of the food habitat habits of the tiger panthera tigris was published in the latest edition of the journal of mammal mammalogy a peer reviewed international publication the authors the authors of study are subhankar biswas sri sri uh, si kumar meghna bandopadhyay शिव कुमार पटेल सलभाडोर लिंगडो विश्वास पांडव एंड सम्राट मंडोल डॉक्टर विश्वास इज ऑल्सो एसोसिएटेड विद द वर्ल्ड वाइड फंड फॉर नेचर इंडिया द साइंटिस्ट चूज द 1900 हंड्रेड किलोमीटर लिनियर स्ट्रेच ऑफ द ताल recognized as one of the most productive habitat on the subcontinent for the study between november 2014 and december 2020 the globally important tiger conservation landscape is characterized characterized by a mosaic of forest and grassland covering both protected areas and others overall the tal represents three major habitat types shivali covering parts of lower himalayas and bhavar covering the foothills of lower himalayas marked by the pebbles and bubbles and tarai comprising the lowland region below the himalayan foothills and north of the indo gangetic plains covering the entire uttar pradesh southern part of uttar uttarakhand and bihar about 22% of wild tiger population in india is found across the tal living and some of the highest human and livestock densities of on the subcontinent the landscape also has a high mammalian diversity with herbivores herbivores such as gaur nilgai amber northern swamp deer wild pig chital and goral some primates carnivores carnivores such as leopard wild dog hyena apart from the tiger and om omnivores including the sloth bear and asiatic black deer black bear the faces of an animal yield information about Yield, yield information about its lineage, genetic relatedness, and diet preferences, population status, and the use of landscape. A total of five ten genetically confirmed sample of tiger faces were collected across the landscape, and ten wild on gold on gullets and livestock as prey species were identified field sampling was conducted across the rajaji corbett amragad amangad pilbit dudwa and balmiki tiger reserve nandhur and kohagibara wa wild kohagibara wa wildlife sanctuaries 
टू कंजर्वेशन रिजर्व एंड इलेवन नॉन प्रोटेक्टेड एरियाज इंक्लूडिंग नाइन फॉरेस्ट डिविजन एंड टू सोशियली फॉरेस्ट्री डिविजन एक्रॉस बिहार उत्तराखंड एंड उत्तर प्रदेश ए टोटल ऑफ सिक्सटीन एट्टी नाइन लार्ज कार्निभोर फैसिया फैसा फैकाल सैंपल वेर ऑपरचुनिस्टिकली कलेक्टेड ड्यूरिंग एक्सटेंसिव एनिमल ट्रेल सर्वे द सैम्पलींग स्ट्राटेजी वॉज डिजाइन टू मैक्सीमाइज द आउटकम विद इन दिस लैंडस्केप बेस्ड ऑन एभेलेबल इनफर्मेशन ऑन टाइगर मुवमेंट द स्टडी सेड लार्ज बडीज द स्टडी सेड लार्ज बडीड स्पेसीज सांबर स्वाम डिअर नीलगाई चित्तल वाइल्ड पिग एंड लाइफ स्टॉक कंप्राइड अबाउट नाइंटी फोर परसेंट ऑफ डाएट विथ Sambar, chital, and livestock having the highest relative proportion. Habitat specific: Rivalic, Bhavar, and Tarai. Analysis indicated indicate that prey selection is driven by prey abundance and body weight, but not determined by protection status. Protected areas versus non-protected result results also suggest that protected and non-protected areas in the tarai region were more, more prone to livestock predation related conflict the study said reducing threats given the significant role of large carnivores carnivores in maintaining ecological diversity and interactions within their respective biological respective biological communities the scientist suggested careful management interventions with community involvement to reduce the threat of livestock predation related conflict conflict they suggested long long term conservation plans including prey abundance estimation outside the protected areas reduction of grazing pressures and detailed records of tiger mortalities with casual invest investigation to ensure future conflict free tiger persistence across the tal tangible heritage is the tangible heritage is the history and identity of a nation says Modi Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday flagged the importance of a restitution of cultural property observation observing that everyone has the right to access and enjoy their cultural heritage addressing the G20 culture minister meeting here through here through video conference mr modi said since 2014 india had brought back hundreds of such artifacts which showcased showcased the glory of its ancient civilization he said tangible heritage not only had material value but, all, but was also the history of identity of a nation everyone had the right to access and enjoy his or her cultural heritage in the issue of restitution of cultural property is an important one and i welcome your effort in this regard he said mr modi commended the efforts of the g20 culture culture delegates towards the preserving living heritage as well after all cultural heritage is not just what it cast is stone it is also the tradition custom and festivals that that are handed down the generation i am confident that your effort will efforts will foster sustainable practices and lifestyles mr modi said underlying that her uh, heritage uh, underlying that heritage was a vital asset for economic growth and diversification he added india takes place india takes pride in its 2000 year old craft heritage with nearly 3000 on unique art and craft arts and crafts mr modi said that effort efforts of g20 nation towards promoting cultural and creative industries held a profound significance as they would facilitate inclusive economic development and support creativity and innovation the prime minister noted that technology was an important ally in celebrating culture and said india's national digital district repository was helping rediscover and rediscover the 
स्टोरेज ऑफ फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इंडिया इज यूजिंग टेक्नोलॉजी टू एनश्योर बेटर प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ इट्स कल्चरल लैंडमार्क्स वाइल ऑल्सो मेकिंग प्लेस ऑफ कल्चरल इंपोर्टेंस मोर टूरिस्ट फ्रेंडली मिस्टर मोदी सेट द प्राइम मिनिस्टर कमेंडेड द कल्चर यूनाइट ऑल कैंपेन लॉन्च बाय जी ट्वेंटी कल्चर मिनिस्टर वर्किंग ग्रुप योर वर्क रिफ्लेक्ट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फोर सीज कल्चर क्रिएटिविटी कमेट्स एंड कोलाबोरेशन इट विल एनाबल ऑस टू हार्नेस द पावर ऑफ कल्चर टू बिल्ड कंपैशनेट इंक्लूसिव एंड पीसफुल फ्यूचर ही सेड द नेक्स्ट है नासा एंड स्पेस एक्स क्यू ऑफ फोर ब्लास्ट ऑफ टू आई एस एस NASA and SpaceX Dragon spacecraft blasted off on Saturday carrying four astronauts to the International Space Station. The Crew 7 mission is commanded by American Jasmine Mogwelli and including includes Andrew Mogensen of Denmark, Santoshi Furu Furu Kawa of Japan and Constant Constantin Borisov Burisov of Russia. The Dragon spacecraft carried by Falcon 9 rocket lifted uh, of at 0727 GMT from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. in front of around 10000 people gathered to watch the launch we have lift of nasa said on x formerly known as twitter cheers could be heard in the mission control room soon after the dragon craft separated from the falcon 9 rocket with with the crew in orbit we may have four crew members on board from four different nation but we are a united team with a common mission Mogwelli said after the separation the launch was pushed back on Saturday to give engineers an extra day to review a component of the crew dragon capsule capsule's environment uh, control and life support system NASA said in a blog post it is the first space mission for both uh, Miss Mogwelli and Miss Mr Borisov seventh mission Crew 7 is said to be the seventh routine mission to the orbital platform for Elon Musk SpaceX with first coming in 2020 NASA pays SpaceX for the taxi service as part of a commercial crew program that it put in place to reduce dependency on Russian rockets for astronauts astronaut transport after the space shuttle program ended in 2011 Boeing is the other <coughs> contracted private, private partner but its program remains mired in delays and technical difficulty and difficulties it has not yet flown any crew <coughs> mr borisov will be third russian to fly on a spacex crew dragon capsule fitted atop uh, falcon 9 rocket space remain space remains a rare area of cooperation between the united states and russia despite moscow uh, moscow's invasion of uh, ukraine with americans also continuing to fly aboard russian soyuz rocket that launched from kazakhstan main goal the crew will spend 6 months aboard the isi iss software they will carry out a science experiment including collecting samples during a space walk to determine whether the station a religious microorganism through its life support system vents the goal is understand uh, goal is to understand the microorganism can survive and reproduce in space another experiment will uh, another experiment will aim to access the physiological differences between the between sleep on earth and in space crew 7 will join the seven people already aboard the is iss 
बिफोर मेंबर्स ऑफ क्रू सिक्स लिव फॉर अर्थ ए फ्यू डेज लेटर द फर्स्ट सेगमेंट ऑफ द आई एस एस वॉज लॉन्च इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी एट एंड इट हैज continuously inhabited by an international crew since 2001 it its operation are set to continue until at least 2030 after which it will be decommissioned and crashed into the ocean several private companies are working on the commercial space station to replace it tropical forest may be getting too hot for photosynthesis A small percentage of leaves on trees in tropical forest may be approaching the maximum temp temperature threshold for photosynthesis to work. Suggest a study published in Nature. An estimated 0.01 percent of all leaves currently surpass this critical temperature, but there are uncertainties in the range of potentially critical temperature in tropical areas. Modeling some modeling suggests that tropical forest can withstand up to a 3.9 degree centigrade increase over current air temperature before a potential tipping. Point. Therefore, action is needed to protect the fate of tropical forest under the under the under future climate change. But the uncertainty in plasticity and and range of critical temperature in tropical tree uh, trees and the effect of leaf death on tree uh, on tree death could drastically change this prediction. The author warns the four degree centigrade estimate is. Within the worst case scenario of climate change prediction for tropical forest and therefore it is still within our power to decide the fate of these critical limbs of carbon water and biodiversity the author writes recent studies have indicated a resilience of a tropical forest to how warming impacts carbon uptake and long term drought however the critical Um, temperature acts as an absolute upper limit, and it seems that it seems that if our assumption in in the model model are correct, crossing such a threshold is within the range of our most pessimistic future climate change scenarios. They noted. leaf temperatures in addition to temperature increase caused by the global warming deforestation fragmentation can amplify local temperature changes the combination of climate change and local deforestation may already be placed be placing the hottest tropical forest region close to or even beyond a critical thermal threshold they add therefore our results suggest that <coughs> the combination of ambitious climate change mitigation goal or goals are reduce deforestation can ensure that these important relics of carbon water bio and biodiversity stay below thermally critical thresholds tropical forest serves as critical carbon stores and host most of the world's biodiversity and may be particularly sensitive to increasing temperature the critical <coughs> temperature beyond which photosynthetic machinery in tropical trees begins to fall average at about 46.7 degrees centigrade however further leaf temperature experienced by tropical vegetation approach this threshold or soon will under climate change remains unclear Why was a 40% duty imposed on onion exports? Is there is there a demand supply mismatch? Why is the government planning to offload buffer stock? In order to increase the availability of onion in markets, especially ahead of upcoming festive season, the government on August 19 imposed a 40% duty on export of onion until the end of the year. Elaborating on the rationale behind the move, Rohit Kumar Singh, secretary at the Department of Consumer Affairs, said that a sharp rise in the in its export has had had been observed in the recent past. Besides imposing this duty, the government will also 
be offloading its you know, onion stocks in various wholesale market in, uh, markets to reduce retail prices as per the department of consumer affairs price monitor monitoring division on august 25 the all india daily average retail price of onion was 25% higher on a year on year basis at 32.6% 32.6 rupees per kg. What do the measures measures seek to achieve? The two measures are aimed at infusing stocks into the market to stabilize the price and mitigate the demand supply mismatch. The chain of event the chain of events goes back to February, which experienced higher than normal temperature. This was followed by oil. On seasonal rainfall between late March and April, early first, <coughs> early April, the two climatic occurrences corresponded with the growth cycle of the onion crop. Onion crop are grown in India across three seasons, namely Kharif, late Kharif, and Ravi. The Kharif crop is planted around July, August, and is harvested between October and December. The late Kharif is sown between October and November and harvested by between January and March. Ravi is harvested around end of March to May and planted between December and January. Maharashtra is the largest onion producing state contributing 39% of overall production followed by the Madhya Pradesh 17% other major onion grouping group in growing states like Karnataka, Gujarat, Bihar, Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan, Haryana, then and Telangana. The Ravi crop of onion contributes the most production, most to production in a calendar year. Market intelligence firms results report earlier this month pledged this at 70% as per the first advanced estimates. The production of onion, onion is pegged at 31.1 metric ton this year down from 31.7 metric ton in 21-22. Further, the area under production is also expected to be lower by 7% at approximately 1.8 million hectares. What led the concerns about storage? Onion usually, onions usually grow based under mild weather conditions. The sudden increase in temperature like in February led the early maturity of the crop which resulted in a small side bulb further the on seasonal rainfall in key growing regions during march also affected the quality of the uh, onions and reduced their shelf life from 6 months, months by around a month as per the cri sil report this raised concern about the storage and induced panic selling among farmers Usan Sarma, Director of Research and at CRI, CRI SIL, Market Intelligence and Analytics, told the Hindu that each year India sees a lean period toward the end of September when Rabi stocks deplete and curry crop is yet to arrive at the market by early October. However, this year, since the rabi crop has seen a reduction uh, in shelf life, the lean season is expected to increase and uh, the rabi stock is estimated to deplete by early September, leading to the current increase in the prices, Mr. Sarma said. Does India export, export, export onions? India exports exported about 2.5 million tons of fresh onion worth approximately 4,522 crore rupees in 2022-2023. As per data from India's Directorate General of Commercial Intelligence and Statistics, further as per data from COM Com Trade, Com, Com Trade, it is the third largest export exporter after the Netherlands and Mexico which command about 15.8% and 11.7% of the market share respectively. India commands about 10%. It, uh, its major export destinations include Bangladesh, Malaysia, UAE, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Indonesia, Qatar, Vietnam, Oman, Kuwait. These countries are expected to be particularly impa impacted by the 40% duty. What lies ahead? <coughs>
लास्ट वीक द गवर्नमेंट सेड दैट द बफर स्टॉक हैज बीन एनहांस्ड देयर टू 5 लाख मेट्रिक टन्स फ्रॉम 3 लाख मेट्रिक मेट्रिक टन मोर इंपोर्टेंटली इट वाज इंफॉर्म दैट ऑनियंस फ्रॉम द बफर बफर शुड बी मेड अवेलेबल टू रिटेल कंज्यूमर एट अ सब्सिडाइज्ड रेट ऑफ 25 रुपीस पर केजी थ्रू रिटेल आउटलेट एट द नेशनल कोऑपरेटिव कंज्यूमर्स फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया फ्रॉम अगस्त 21 As per the government, the measures for targeted release, procurement, and imposition of export duty would benefit the farmers and consumers by assuring remunerative prices to the union farmers while ensuring con continuous availability to the consumers at affordable price. After Chandrayaan 3, what are ISRO's plans? After Chandrayaan 3, what are the ISRO's plans? Does the Indian Space Research Organization intend to go back to the moon for more missions? What are some of the other things it is working on now besides producing rocket and developing satellite system? Is Chandrayaan 4 already in works? <coughs> At 6.03 p.m. Indian Standard Time on August 23, the Chandrayaan 3 lander Touched on the moon's surface in the south polar region. The landing <coughs> followed a 19-minute sequence in which the spacecraft used its engines, thrusters, and suites of sensors to guide itself from an altitude of around 30 km and a speed of 1.7 km per second down to the ground. The success made India the fourth country to have soft landed a robotic instrument on the moon and the first to have, first to have done. So in the moon's south polar region, the elite uh, stature also boosts other countries' confidence in Indian Space Research Organization, which built, launched, and now operates the Chandrayaan-3 instruments. What are the ISRO's focus areas? ISRO's activities span uh, conducting research, developing satellite uh, system, working with autonomous bodies, producing rockets from working with vendors who supply various component to design testing integration and launch maintaining satellite tracking infrastructure operating existing satellite mitigating orbital debris etc some of its more prominent focus areas at the moment are gaganyaan uh, gaganyaan and the human space flight mission where in a group of astronauts are being trained at isro's continue ISRO continues a series of tests of a modified launch vehicle Mark 3 LVM 3 rocket before it can be certified to be safe to carry humans a reusable launch vehicle launch vehicle technology demonstrator RLD TD a launch vehicle that can be used for multiple mission unlike the existing rocket each each of which can be used only for the for one mission currently undergoing test is S SCE 200 a powerful engine that uses highly refined kerosene as the fuel and liquid oxygen as the oxidizer to power the next generation of isro rockets currently undergoing test and a small satellite launch vehicle a rocket smaller than the uh, smaller than the warehouse polar satellite launch vehicle to carry lighter satellites into lower low earth orbit with a shorter turn around time between launches currently under, undergoing developmental flight are there major missions coming up isro's launch manifest the list of entities to be launched provides a glimpse of um, the major missions in in the short medium and long term the earliest one is aditya one aditya l1 spacecraft a scientific mission to study the sun in greater detail it is expected to be launched launched in the september this year on board a pslb rocket This will happen alongside two flights of the modified LLVM-3 to test the Gaganyaan mission's crew escape system. ISRO is also expected to launch launch the ExpoSat satellite to study 
एक्स रेज स्ट्रीमिंग थ्रू आउटर स्पेस एंड द थर्ड डेवलपमेंटल फ्लाइट ऑफ द एस एस एल वी दिस इन इन जनवरी ट्वेंटी एज ऑफ नाउ इसरो इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू लॉन्च द मोच एवर्टेड एंड निशार सैटेलाइट बिल्ड जॉइंटली बाय इसरो एंड नासा निशार विल स्टडी नेचुरल प्रोसेसेस ऑन द आर्थ सरफेस फॉर थ्री इयर इन रडार फ्रिक्वेन्सी With a state of the art setup that cost 1.5 billion dollar to build. The other major launches in 2024 are the Gaganyaan Gaganyaan G1 and G2 flights when a human related LVM3 rocket will will be flown without a crew. And the launch of the GSAT-20 communication satellite. There are also a slew of smaller missions planned. Even if ISRO uses the third and tested PSLV rocket for them, they consume time, resource, and attention. In the midst of all this, ISRO will also have to undertake commercial launches. This is this this is launch payloads for other space agencies and. and our companies and institutes are three projects other than launches as mission to space become more complex and as each mission is expected to serve increasingly multifarious needs any space program will need better launch vehicles isro developed the pslb in 1993 to launch a remote sensing satellite in a pool to pool orbit the lvm wa lvm3 was developed so that india could launch an heavy satellite like those of insat and gsat series the sslv was developed to tap into the <coughs> market for launching small satellite the next step is the rlv TD its design resembles that the that of NASA space shuttle with a winged body that can propel itself using heavy duty engines or um, glide through the air as required once ready the RLB TD is expected to be able to lift up the 20000 kg to low earth orbit this means the means heavier and more sophisticated space missions in future isro has also been working on developing safer and more energy efficient rocket fuel one example is the methanolox methalox propellant methane plus liquid oxygen on a related note its scientists have also been working on an electric propulsion system for satellite which are lighter than their chemical propellant counterparts and uh, counterparts and potentially beneficial to a satellite's lifespan as well the organization has has been transforming some technologies especially related to telecommunication and electronics to the private sector it plans to do the same thing with uh, sets SSLV one city developmental its developmental flights have have been completed are there any more most uh, are there any more moon missions chandrayaan 3 is actually part of a longer road map of lunar exploration that could give us uh, chandrayaan 5 6 or more but before that isro's next plan to go back uh, to man is moon is already in works in collaboration with the japan aerospace exploration agency jaxa it is developed it is developing systems for lunar polar exploration lupex mission in natural extension of chandrayaan 3 mission some isro scientists have called it chandrayaan 4 lupex will also consist of a lander and a rover but they will be more sophisticated together they will extend studies of the moon's south polar region including using a drill to extract subsurface samples for further analysis it is also expected to demonstrate night survival on the moon day and night each last 14 day earth days during the lunar night there is no light and temperature could drop down to 
180 degrees Celsius. During the day, the lander and the rover can be powered by solar panels, but at night they, they will need alternative sources of energy. Their electronic components will also need to survive, survive these punishing conditions so that once the sun, sun dawn after two weeks, they can resume operation. As of today, JAXA is set to provide the launch vehicle and the rover and ISRO the lander. <coughs> Next as a result of various sanctions imposed on Russia, some Swiss agency and the companies have been looking for alternative providers of service, services that Russia was providing until then. This is why, for example, ISRO launched the one web satellite in 2022 and is expected to launch the uh, European Space Agency. Proba 3 satellite in 2024. Finally, ISRO also has planned to return to Mars <coughs> and develop mission to study Venus with one called Sukrayan already in, in the works. What is the care protocol for babies in India? What is the care protocol for Babies in India. <coughs> Newborn babies के लिए क्या care protocol इंडिया में अभी तक किया जा रहा है? Our healthcare staff is trained to prevent, detect and manage human and operational error in handling new needs. What are some of the potential risks? How can they be overcome? Why are the past 28 days crucial? <coughs> Former British nurse Lucy Letby, Letby was sentenced to life in prison earlier this week after being found guilty in the worst child serial killer case in the history of UK. Letby was convicted of murdering seven babies and trying to kill six others while working at the countless of Chester Hospital between June 2015 and June 2016. She was first arrested in 2018, <coughs> led by killed infant by injecting them with air. <coughs> Others were forced to feed milk and two were poisoned with insulin. Court documents said as per news reports. What are patient safety provision in India? Patient safety is a fundamental element of public health care and is defined as the freedom for a patient from unnecessary harm or potential harm associated with provision of health care as per the United Nations. Union Health Ministry document titled National Patient Safety Implementation. <coughs> Summer 2018-25 Patients in India are protected under multiple layers of law that are largely fragmented. The first idea of patient safety is enshrined in the Hippocratic Oath itself. Additionally, the Consumer Protection Act deals with medical negligence and deficiency of service. Legal rights of parents, patients are set out in the crucial in the Clinical Establishment Act and the National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority and Drugs Controller General of India have mechanism to see that patients right. <coughs> In terms of medications and devices are protected and they are not <coughs> overcharged, among others, other things. How is new natal safety maintained? Well, the, while there are no exclusive rules for new natal care and safety or protection against external harm in India, hospitals, there are provisions and checks against issues like in Advertent mixed of uh, babies at birth and uh, abduction. Dr. Ramesh Agrawal, professor in charge of uh, neonatal services in the pediatric department of uh, All India Institute, All India 
Institute of Medical Science New Delhi says events where deliberate harm to patients is caused by the care, by care provide, providers is extremely rare. Such instances may involve people with complex psychiatric illness. He points out, he adds, that in a country where 2.6 crore children are born annually, they, there could be human errors in terms of care and lapses. But planned deliberate harm is a rare occurrence. Healthcare system are geared to geared to prevent, detect, and manage human operation, human and operational errors. Though the efficacy efficiency may vary, he explained. There are a set of comprehensive provisions for the safety and well-being of new nets or newborn babies to minimize potential risk, says Dr. Sumit Chakraborty, senior consultant, pediatrics and neonatology and head NICU Asian Hospital Faridabad. The healthcare staff is also trained to counsel parents and provide emotional support contributing to the safety and developmental units. <coughs> he explained that adequate staff, staffing ensures that trained healthcare provide, providers can closely monitor each baby's condition and respond swiftly to any concerns properly proper equipment for respiratory support temperature regulation and monitoring vital signs are readily available new nets are typically kept in controlled environment to avoid exposure to external infection and temperature fluctuations Parental involvement is encouraged but with particular precautions to prevent the spread of infections, regular training and continuing medical education for healthcare staff are essential to maintain high quality neonatal care and uphold safety standards, he said. What are some of the issues neonates faces? Although the global Number of neonatal deaths declined from 5, billion, 5 million in 1992 to 2.4 million in 2019. Children face, face the greater risk of death in their first 28 days, according to the World Health Organization. It, its data shows that in 2019, 47% of all under 5 deaths occurred. 47% of all under five days occurred in the newborn period with about one third of one third dying on the day of birth and close to three quarter dying within the first week of life. The current infant mortality rate for India in 2023 is 26.6 deaths for 1000 live births. So the current infant mortality rate for India in 2023 is 26.6 death per 1000 live births, a 3.89% decline from 2022. The infant mortality rate for India in 2022 was 27.6 death per 1000 live births, a 3.74 decline from 2021 children who would who die within the first 28 days of birth suffer from condition and disease associated with the lack of quality care at birth and or skill care and treatment immediately after birth and in the first day of first days of life. Preterm birth, preterm birth, intra partum related complications, birth. Uh, asphyxia, asphyxia or lack of breathing at birth. Infections and birth defects cause most neonatal deaths. Women who receive midwife led continuity of care provided by professional midwives educated and regulated to international standards are 16% less likely to lose their baby and 24% less likely to experience a preterm birth, is explained. The global organization has also advised families that prompt medical care should be sought in case of danger signs including feeding problems or if the newborn has reduced activity, difficult breathing and a fever fits or a conclusive 
कन्भल कन्भल्यूजन जोडिस इन द फास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स आफ्टर बार्थ येलो आर्म एंड सोल्स इन एट एनी स्टेज एट एनी एज और इफ द बेबी फील्स कोल्ड फैमिलीज आर ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड टू रेजिस्टर द बार्थ एंड ब्रिंग द बेबी फॉर टाइमली वैक्सीनेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू नेशनल शेड्यूल्स सम न्यू बॉर्न रिक्वायर्स रिक्वायर एडिशनल अटेंशन एंड केयर ड्यूरिंग हॉस्पिटलाइजेशन एंड एट होम टू मिनिमाइज दर हेल्थ रिस्क नेक्स्ट जो है मिशन पॉसिबल मिशन पॉसिबल द एजेंसी हेज प्रूव इट्स कैपेबिलिटी टाइम एंड अगेन बाय प्लेसिंग सैटेलाइट इन प्रिसाइज ऑर्बिट ऑन मॉडेस्ट बजट एंड एम्बार्किंग अपॉन हाईली पब्लिसाइज्ड मिशन टू द मून एंड मार्स ए मेमोरेबल ब्लैक एंड व्हाइट फोटोग्राफ फ्रॉम द अर्थ अर्थ Early days of Indian space research space program shows the nose cone of a small rocket being taken to the launch pad on the carrier rack of a bicycle. It is an in congru congruous congruous sight all around the bicycle by the dusty palm. रूरल इंडिया ऑफ़ द द 1960s कट टू 23 एंड इमेजेस ऑफ़ चेयरमैन इंडियन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डिक्लेयरिंग वी हैव अचीविंग अचीव्ड सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग ऑन मून इंडिया इज ऑन द मून इन द स्लो येट इवेंटफुल टू इमेज Space program evolved from what may perceived as the frivolous aspiration of an upstart, poverty-stricken country to a sparkling example of a scientific excellence that India can look up to. Truth is, the ISRO has ISRO had made it to the elite space club much before. Chandrayaan-3 missions Vikram lander touched down on the lunar south pole on August 23. The agency has proved its capabilities time and again by placing satellites in the precise orbit on the most modest budget and embarking upon highly publicized missions to the moon in 20, uh, 2008 and 2019. and mars in 2014 in 2017 the isro turned off the heat on space on the space race by launching 104 satellites in the in one go on the 39 flight of its thrust polar satellite launch vehicle PSLV but beyond such immediately visible high profile achievements uh, are the countless ways in which isro and in its home grown technologies have touched the lives of the common people be it weather forecast telemedicine navigations or teleeducation it is this connect the and connect with the grassroots that has made isro a household name second to non vikrama saravai the driving spirit behind india's space ambition was keen for india to be second to non in the application of advanced technology to the real problem of man and society which we find in our country to him the application of sophisticated technologies and methods of analysis to our problem is not to be confused within embarking on no, grandiose on grandiose grandiose team whose primary impact is for so rather than for progress measured in hard economic and the and social terms 
this is perhaps why it did not surprise anyone with when the Vikram Sarabhai Space Station is VSSC ISRO's lead facility facility responsible for launch vehicles including the hefty LVM-3 which put Chandrayaan-3 in the orbit last July turned its skill to developing mechanical ventilators in the bleak days of the COVID-19 pandemic, but then the beginnings of the ISRO-2 were modest on land relinquished by the fishing community and a local church in a little known, little known coastal village in Kerala, Thirunanthapuram. A historic landmark in the entire process of land acquisition was the singular act of grace on the part of the <coughs> Christian community at Thumba and the Bishop of Thirunthapuram R.T. Rev. Dr. Peter Bernard Perrier in 1962 the venerated place of worship St. Mary Magdalene Church now a Popular Space Museum was uh, graciously laid at the altar of science. A, the book A Brief History of Rocketry in ISRO by P. V. Manuranjan Rao and P. P. Radhakrishnan, veteran of the Space Agency notes on November 21 this year. <coughs> it will be 60 years since the first surrounding rocket. An American made Nike Apache lifted off from Thumba. Over the years, the space the space agency has had its ups and downs. The occasional mission setbacks aside, the issue was rock, uh, rock, rocked by the spy scandals in the early 1990s and the uh, Antrix divorce case uh, later on never. Nevertheless, the agency has always displayed an ability to bounce back stronger today. The issue with its many facilities spread over the country has a pride of place among India's government establishment. By indigenously developing technology like a cryogenic rocket engine and the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite, <coughs> IRNSS and NAVIC often in the face of sanctions, it has demonstrated to the country's larger scientific community that such that such things are not the exclusive impregnable domains of the West alone. Perhaps this is ISRO's greatest contribution to the country's scientific community, a war culture epitomized by an unwavering commitment to excellence and a teamwork that can be traced back to the days of Sarabhai Satish Dhawan and APJ Abdul Kalam. <coughs> तो लास्ट हमारा जो आर्टिकल है प्रधानमंत्री जनधन योजना अकाउंट सरप्राइज 50 करोड़ से डिपॉजिट स्टॉक 2 लाख करोड़ से जोशी डिपॉजिट्स इन दिस अकाउंट्स है मोर देन डबल ओवर पास्ट 52 मंथ्स फ्रॉम 96000 1000 crore rupees sorry mm, 96 107 thousand rupees in march 2019 says financial service secretary josie government now working with ministries bank 96107 crore rupees in March 2019, says Financial Service Secretary Joshi, government now working with ministries, banks to persuade account holders to opt for micro insurances. 
the number of a bank account under the Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yodhana, which completes 9 years of Monday, has crossed 50 crores with total deposits exceeded, exceeding 2 lakh crore, financial, financial service secretary Vivek Joshi said on Saturday. As of August 16, 50.09 crore PMJDY account has account had been opened with total deposits of 2,3505 crore of rupees of from 48.65 crore accounts with deposits of 1.98 lakh crore as of March 31. The deposits in these accounts have more than doubled over the past 52 months from 96,000 107 crore rupees in March 2019, with the average deposit in PMJDY accounts rising, rising to 4,063 rupees. The government is now working with bank, banks and ministries to persuade account holders to opt for micro-insurance scheme like PMJJBY Pradhan Mantri Jivan Jyoti Bhima Yojana and Accident insurance under Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bhima Yojana trying persuasions. <coughs> we do not want to make these schemes compulsory but are trying to persuasion route with banks holding financial uh, literacy camps and special drives to make people aware of the benefits. Mr. Joshi said we are also coordinating with ministries that have a field level presence such as Anganwadi and or ASA workers at the top official overseeing banking added. We are also examining databases such as the ESROM portal of the Labor Ministry to identify people who we believe may not be covered. He said the number of zero balance accounts had dropped sharply from 58% in March 2015 to just 8% of total PMJDY accounts, Mr. Joshi said. Women made up, made up 56% of the account holders and 67% of accounts were in rural and semi-urban areas, the official added. So with this we conclude today's daily news analysis from today tomorrow onwards we will see dna from the hindu so thank you thank you very much